All right, this is the barometer that we had in the last video, and we figured out that this point here, the pressure has to be equal to P atmosphere, and because there's a column above it as well, with a pretty much negligible vapor pressure in here, that this atmospheric pressure also has to equal this, uh, the pressure caused by this column of liquid. So we have P atmosphere is equal to rho GH, plus this PV, but again, that's negligible. So now we want to do an example problem. So what if uh, what if we are given how high the the barometer is reading? So we're we're going to say that our our example is um, let's say that we're given H is equal to seven hundred and sixty millimeter Hg mm Hg. This is a very common yeah way to give height. And that's literally how many millimeters tall is this column. So now we're going to say what you know, we're given H, find P atmosphere. All right, so we know how to solve this now. We just have, we have an expression here for P atmosphere. So we're gonna say that the pressure of the atmosphere is going to equal rho G H. So the rho of, oh, and I guess we should maybe say that this is actually gonna be at, let's say 20 degrees Celsius. That gives us a nice number that we can read off of a table in a thermodynamics or a fluids book. So if you go and look up rho, of mercury at 20 degrees Celsius, we're going to find that this is 13,550 kilograms per cubic meter um, times, you know what, we're actually going to run out of space here, so let's, uh, let's move this whole thing over. Okay, that's better. So we're going to have 13,550 kilograms times gravity, acceleration due to gravity, 9.81 meters per second squared. And we're going to have times 760 millimeters, or 0 0.76 meters. We're going to need that so the units work out nicely. And now if we multiply all these together, we will get an answer in Pascals. So if you go ahead and enter that into your calculator, you'll get this. This is going to equal 101 kilopascals. And in 101 kilopascals, that's the same thing um, as one atmosphere. So that's all you do. So barometer problems are pretty easy. And the reason I chose 760 millimeters is because I knew that this would give us one atmosphere. And that's a really common thing that you should know. And you can even use this just as a conversion rate.